a tubeless insulin patch pump with a 7 day wear time that can hold up to 300 units. Welcome to the channel, my name is Scott. Today we're going to be talking about a new insulin patch pump called the EO Patch, which is being developed by a company called EOFlow. It was recently submitted to the FDA for approval here in the US, and it's already out in Europe and a number of other countries. So today I wanted to go over the specs and talk about where this pump has some advantages over other tubeless insulin pumps that are on the market. So let's get started. First, what exactly is the EO Patch? Well, the EO Patch is a tubeless insulin pump. If you're familiar with the Omnipod, this is very, very similar. And tubeless just means there are no wires or cables connected to the body. It's just a small pod that stores your insulin that you attach to the skin. And up until now, especially here in the US, if you wanted a full-fledged tubeless insulin pump, your only option was the Omnipod. And as great as the Omnipod 5 is, it's always great to see some new competition in the market. So let's break down the details of this insulin pump. Let's first start with the way you control and interact with the pump. So you actually have two options. You can either use a dedicated pump controller, which is a small touchscreen smart remote, which they call the Advanced Diabetes Manager. It's 110 grams with a 3.5 inch screen, and it has fully programmable basal and bolus control. You can save up to eight basal programs and eight bolus preset programs. So that's one option to control the pump. The other option, which I'm sure will be more appealing to most people, is using a smartphone application named Narsha. So Narsha is a smartphone app that allows you to control the EO patch via Bluetooth. It's compatible with both Android and iPhone, and Narsha allows you to track your glucose levels, deliver insulin, bolus for meals, correct for elevated glucose levels, you can turn on temp basal rates, suspend insulin, all of the usual features you'll find on most insulin pump software nowadays. This whole pump controller setup is very similar to what the Omnipod has available, which also has the option of both a pump controller or a smartphone app. And I keep referencing and comparing this pump to the Omnipod because like I said before, the Omnipod is really the only other tubeless insulin pump that's on the market. So a lot of the comparisons I'll do will be to compare it to the Omnipod. All right, so let's talk about something a little bit more exciting. What about the automated insulin delivery system that's on this pump? All new pumps at this point really need to have an automated insulin delivery system to remain competitive. And the EO patch is no different. At their last conference call in 2022, they announced a partnership to develop an automated insulin delivery system with the Type 0 group. If you're not familiar with the Type 0 group, that's the same group that developed the algorithm for the Tandem T-Slim, which is a very impressive automated insulin delivery system. But most recently, just a few weeks prior to me recording this video, they announced a new partnership with Diaboloop. And if you're not familiar with this company, Diaboloop already has an established automated insulin delivery algorithm called the DBLG1 algorithm. And it's already running on many insulin pumps throughout Europe. It's a very sophisticated algorithm that has a number of really great features. It has artificial intelligence that adapts to daily insulin needs, a feature called Zen mode to prevent hypoglycemia, as well as a number of other features. So while it was exciting to first hear that the Type 0 group would be developing this automated insulin delivery system, I don't think much will be lost now that they're teaming up with the Diaboloop system, which is really another great algorithm. Now as far as the CGM, the continuous glucose monitor, that will be paired with this automated insulin delivery system, at this time they announced they will be working with the Dexcom CGM, as many other pumps currently do. They have announced that they do have plans in the future to make their own proprietary CGM. Now what about the hardware side of things? One of the biggest questions I know I had when I found out they were developing a 3ml pod with a 300 unit capacity was how big are the pods going to be? So there's two pods being produced. The current model, which is capable of holding two mLs of insulin or 200 units, is 14.5 millimeters thick, weighing in at 26 grams. That's essentially identical to the Omnipod, which is at 14.47 millimeters thick and 26 grams. But the real question is, how big is the 3ml or the 300 unit pod going to be? And by the way, at this time, this is the only tubeless insulin pump that's on the market that will have a 300 unit capacity. The Omnipod has a max at 2 mLs or 200 units. So it's a pretty big deal to have this capacity in a tubeless insulin pump. So surprisingly, the 300 unit or 3 mL pod is not really that much different than the 200 unit pod. It's the same thickness at 14.5 millimeters. It's only another four grams heavier at 30 grams total. It's a bit taller, 57.3 millimeters tall compared to 49.5, and just a tad wider, 41.3 millimeters compared to 39 millimeters. So only about a 20% increase in size overall. Certainly not bad for a pod that can hold up to 300 units. All right, so the next question is how long do these pods last? How long before they need to be replaced? Well, the current model you're able to wear for 3.5 days, so three days and 12 hours, 
which means it's going to last 12 hours longer than the current Omnipod, which has to be replaced after a max of 72 hours. And then most importantly, there is a model in the works using the 300 unit pod we talked about earlier that is promised to last a total of seven days, which is really a game changer for tubeless insulin pumps. And then finally, another nice upgrade for this pump, especially for those of you who like to spend a lot of time in the water, is that it has an IPX8 rating for up to 24 hours. So you can be snorkeling with this pump all day long and not have to worry. The Omnipod by comparison also has the same IPX8 rating, but only for up to 60 minutes. All right, finally, let's talk about the timeline for these insulin pumps and these different models that we talked about today. When are they gonna be coming out? When can we get our hands on them? So the current 2ML pod called the EO patch using the Narsha phone app is available now in certain countries across Europe as well as Korea. And as of December of 2022, the pump was submitted for FDA approval here in the US. And in 2023, the current year of this recording, they plan to release the EO patch X, which will include the automated insulin delivery system we spoke about earlier. So hopefully any month now for that model. And most importantly, the one you're probably wondering about, the EO patch 3.0. That's the pod with the seven day wear time and the 3ML capacity. So that one is planned to be released in 2024 and studies are already underway using this new 3ML pod. So one more year before we can potentially get our hands on a seven day wear time, 300 unit tubeless insulin pump. And then finally in 2025 and 2026, so sometime in the next couple of years, they have plans to not only release their own proprietary CGM as we discussed before, but they also have in the works a closed loop insulin pump. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that at some point in the near future. So that was the EO patch insulin pump. Another great option for diabetics looking for a tubeless insulin pump. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this new insulin pump. And thank you as always for watching the video.